Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today, I want to show you some features on the SEL Atlas Crossport uh, and the SEL Atlas. These are going to be pretty similar, so I'm just going to uh, assume that they're going to be one and the same. Uh, there's not a whole lot of differences between the two, uh, so this will work for either one. Uh, with an SEL, first off, uh, you're going to have this digital screen right here. It's completely customizable. We'll get to that. Um, automatic headlights. Your door locks are up here. Your mirror adjustments are right here. And then your windows are right here. And then there's a window lock right here as well. So uh, I'll go through this as though I'm delivering the car. And that way you'll kind of get an idea of what's going on. All right. So I'll start up here at the top. Your door locks are right here. There's an unlock and lock. Uh, there are the only two buttons in the car. These here and the ones over there on that side. Um, door handle, of course. Uh, and for your mirror adjust here, there's an L, an O, and an R. The L is for left, O is for off, R is for right. And then you just turn it to the corresponding mirror, just like this. And then you move this guy up, down, left, or right. And then that moves that mirror. as you can see there just like that all right and you also have one touch up one touch down on all four windows so you just flick and the window goes all the way down and you just pull up and it goes all the way back up so you have that on all four windows you have a window lock right here you push that and that locks the window for you uh, down here is your hatch release you just lift up on that guy right there and the hatch opens in the back and then lift up and hold it'll beep it closes it's important to lift up and hold and then that will close that and that's this button right here if I open a door right here there is my hood release right there also down here your automatic headlights Auto is where I recommend leaving it. This is off. That's auto. There's your parking lights. There's your uh, headlights. And when you're on auto or parking lights, or this one here, uh, the lights are on, um, but you can pull out on auto and wake up the uh, all weather lights. And you can do that on the headlights as well. But you can't do it on the parking lights or in the off position. So only on auto. Or headlights can you pull out on that to do the all weather lights here are your vents right here there's a little lever here that makes a clicking sound when you close it you open it just like that um, you do also have a coin box for storage right here I do over these in most of my videos there's your telescoping steering wheel you pull down on this handle here and now you can pull out push in raise or lower that steering wheel and then lock it back takes a little bit of pressure or a little bit of force to bring that back but you're not gonna break it uh, and then on this flat bottom leather wrap steering wheel, it's flat on the bottom so you can drive with it closer to your lap You have all your buttons right here on the top um, This side and also this side so res is for your resume on cruise control The set button is for setting the cruise control drive to the speed and then hit set um, Here are your assist systems on this button right here. So by pushing that button there That's going to bring up lane assist blind spot monitor rear traffic alert and front assist that's how you check to see if something's on or off now using these buttons over here this up and down arrow here I can move between those and then by hitting OK I can deselect one arrow down deselect that one arrow down deselect that one and now they're all un uh, deselected so just by going through again in the menu I can arrow down and select and select and now they're on and that's by hitting these buttons here this is your up down up and down and then left and right for these two okay so with the um, navigation there you show your gear right here and your speed over here and right now I have a fuel light on so there's the fuel light uh, fasten seat belt and then this little green icon here is a shoe telling me that I can mash on the gas and I won't kill anyone essentially uh, that shows up in park and neutral 
That's the only time that shows up. And then up atop here, you have your compass. You have adaptive cruise control. It is operating in the background, ready to go. And then you have uh, your driving mode. Turn signals right here. Uh, and to turn on brights, turn on the headlights here and push away so you can see that. That little blue icon is going to tell you that your brights are on. Pulling back on it, turns them off. Pushing out again, turns them on. Pulling back, turns them off. Super easy. All right. Uh, oh, and then when you do have your headlights on, that changes from day to night. Notice it went to dark gray. I turn the headlights back to auto or off, and it went back to the tan color. That's daylight. Over here on this side are your wipers. Wipers uh, have a number of settings here. To do a quick wipe, if you get splashed by a puddle, someone driving through a puddle, you just push, push down on a stalk, just like that and they swipe once. The next click up, they swipe again. That's your intermittent, that would normally be your intermittent setting, but in this case, it's rain sensing wiper setting. Your car has to have rain sensing wipers for that to work, but then you have medium, and then you have high for your wipers. Super easy. Also right here, there's a voice button. This will allow you to tune the radio. 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 What next? Select frequency. Please say the FM frequency. 107.7. Frequency 107.7 HD1. Okay. I have the music turned down because I don't have any copyrights that I want to pay out. So um, that's how the voice command works. Um, also, if you're hooked up using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto down here with one of these USBs touching and holding that button will activate Google or Siri but the important thing is you must be plugged in to your phone depending on your phone's operating system you must be plugged in to that USB and the phone to get that to work heated steering wheel button is right here so I just push that and now my heated steering wheel is on all right and then just push again to turn it off Actually, that's on medium, that's on low, and then that's off. So it's three stage. So that's nice. Uh, horn, of course, in the middle here. Uh, new Volkswagen logo. Um, seat adjust. It's right here. So for your seats, you can move forward or back, up or down with this middle knob. And then this is your seat back. That's adjust there. And then this round button up here on the front. It's hard to see over here, but there's a round button there. That's for your lumbar support. And to store a seat, you're just going to hit set. And then a number, touch and hold. And you have the ding. So I can move the seat another way. I can hit set and hit number two. Now I've stored number two. And then I'm going to move the seat back. Hit set. And then number three. There we go. It's all set. Okay, for the radio. We're going to go right here. I'm moving the seat back real quick. Uh, for the radio, this is an MIB2 radio. So it has AM, FM, and satellite. Just by hitting radio, now I'm at FM. Hit radio again, I'm on AM. Hit radio again, and I'm on satellite. You can also change it by going down here and touching Sirius, XM, FM, or AM to change it. Uh, the next one is media. Media, if you change the source here, you have CD, SD card 2, USB 2, auxiliary navigation, USB 1, and then Bluetooth audio as well. All of these features are here, and if they're grayed out, they're not available to you, but if they're white, they're active and available. So if you had a CD in the glove box, that's where your CD player is. If you had a CD in here, this would show up white, and you'd be able to select it. USB 1 and 2 are both down here. Obviously, 1 to the left, 2 to the right. So you have those as access as well. You can change your source that way as well. Phone. So for your phone, it's much faster to find a phone, use your phone to find the car, than use the car to find your phone. 
So you can find a new cell phone going this way, but it's much easier to go the other route. So um, I'm not going to demonstrate that one for you, but uh, search for Bluetooth on your phone and then you're set. Okay, so navigation, I can bring this up right here. So I get navigation right here. I have new destination, my destination, points of interest, view, map, and voice guidance. So I can change the volume of voice guidance. Voice guidance volume. Voice guidance volume. Voice guidance volume. Or I can mute it. Then I can voice move it again. Voice guidance volume. Voice guidance volume. Voice guidance volume. Pretty nice that it does that. Okay. Also, uh, you do have on navigation, you can do map. So what I did there by touching that, it took map from over here and brought it over here. Wave my hand in front of that again. The map button takes it back over here. Okay, so back to this map for a second. View settings, crop screen, dial screen, and widescreen. So I have those as options right there just by hitting the view button right here. Okay, another thing on the radio, the car button. The car button is basically information since last start. I can touch this arrow here and go for an extended period. The car's driven 28 miles, average speed was six miles an hour, four hours, 56 minutes, four hours, 57 minutes of runtime, and then uh, average fuel economy is 9.5 MPGs. I have 30 miles till empty. I can change the settings here. I can change driver names. So driver one, we're gonna go ahead and make it, we're gonna change it. I select the driver one button by the arrow uh, and now I can change the name. I'm going to go ahead and put my name in there. Hit OK. And now you turn back. Now it shows up Reese. Driver two. We're going to rename. All right. And then it's driver three. Okay, and then you also have guest. Guest, you're not able to rename, but you can pick. So you have driver selections here. So what's cool about this is I'm gonna shut the car off real quick. So when you shut the car off, the little cross port drives in. When I open the door, turn sideways, the door opens up red. I'm gonna shut the door, and I wanna start the car again foot on the brake, push the start button, it now says Reese down below. That kind of went away kind of quick. We'll give it a second here. There's Reese. Now you see those arrows that tell me I can arrow down. So using the arrow down button here, I can go to Sky, I can go to Peyton, I can go to Guest, Close, or back to Reese. And I'm just going to select OK, and now it's on Reese's settings. Pretty cool. Okay, so cup holders right here wireless charging down here you can put a phone down here face up lay it lengthwise right there uh, and it will charge through the case in most cases um, you do have an auxiliary port there as well and a uh, cigarette lighter right here cigarette lighter adapter climate control you have three knobs this knob controls temperature Turning it to the right makes it warmer. Turning it to the left makes it cooler. You also have a sync button here. If I deselect that, now I can have different temperatures on each side. So notice the temperature is 78 over here on this side and 63 on this side. So you can have two different climate zones running at the same time. So fan speed right here in the middle. Turning it down. If you turn it far enough, it eventually turns the system off. Turning it again turns the system back on. Push the menu button, and that brings up a touchscreen version of the same controls. I can adjust the fan, I can adjust the, the vent settings, I can do recirculated air, I can touch the big fan to make it faster or stronger, and the smaller fan to make it smaller. I can also adjust a touching. The red side makes it warmer, the blue side makes it cooler. Air care is the air filtration system. 
that's going to filter out uh, the bad stuff in the air and have it recirculate through the car. The little blue line uh, expands as it does its work. Uh, it will not operate if the sunroof is open or a window is open or a door is open. Okay, so there's also an off button here where you can turn the system off. Here are your heated seats. They start on high, then medium, then low, then off. Same with this side over here. High, medium, low, and then off. Backup camera, I'll show you that real quick. So with the backup camera here, that beeping you hear are the park sensors. It's telling me that I'm close to this Tiguan right here. I also have a yellow line that moves according to where the steering wheel turns. The green line stays put. That signifies where you're going if you go straight back. The red line signifies where your bumper is. Now when you put it in drive, it is not uncommon for the camera to stay on. That is actually how it's designed. If you move forward, that will continue on for about 30 seconds. And now I'm gonna back into the space. And you can hear the, the sensors start and the pitch and the tone changes as I get closer. And there you have it. Super easy. You have different sensors for the front. You can also adjust the sound of those. There's a look at the seats. Here's a look up at the sunshade. This button right here, push back one quick time. It'll go all the way back. You can stop it at any point by pushing. Now it's stopped. Push it again and it'll continue back. That is your sunroof. This button right here, me pushing on the front of this, pushing backwards, opens the sunroof and it opens the front section. The windscreen pops up. That protects you from the sun, or I'm sorry, from the wind. Uh, and that does uh, stop right there. So as I close this, I'm gonna push the button on the back side forward, and that closes the sunroof again, and then it collapses the windscreen. And it nests firmly there. Push this button on the front that's pointing frontwards, and here comes the sunshade. The sunshade will also close that. All right, so let's take a look at the back seats. You have this handle right here. This handle will allow you to fold the seat and also recline the seat. So I'm gonna do this with one hand on the phone and one hand here. By lifting up on this here, I'm now able to get that seat to recline. That seat has reclined. You do also have an armrest and a cup holder right here. And I can also lift up on this handle and fold the seat flat. So that seat does go completely flat. There is going to be a little bit of a gap here and there's also a drop off here. They're not even in height. Uh, that's to make room for the uh, sloping roof line that you see right here. So your passengers in the back still have leg room. Or headroom, excuse me. down here three prong plug-in and you also have the two USB ports there for charging there's also a USB port inside the armrest right here so there's a third one right there and here's a look from the back seat up to the front very nice and let's look at the back in the back of the car down here Right in the middle between the T and the L, there's a little gasket you can lift up. And you're able to get the uh, power lift gate to come up. Trunk light over here, trunk light over here. Cigarette adapter right here for plugging in. And then here are your monster mats, cargo blocks, roadside assistance kit. Now, if you've already had a car delivered, you already have these mats installed most likely. Here's a look through from the back to the front. There's a bag hook hidden over here on this side, and there's also another bag hook hidden over on this side. This is the track for the cargo cover. If your car came with a cargo cover, it just nests right here, and it slides through this little track right here. To get to the spare, you lift up underneath. There's your spare tire. There's everything right there for you. And if your car has this guy right here, this is your front license plate cover. Um, a lot of these are put on by request. Uh, 
depending on whether or not your your uh, uh, state requires you to have that. So we do a lot of out-of-state sales, so we don't always put those on the front there. Um, so that's customer request. And to close the door, you're just going to hit that button right there, and that's going to close the hatch for you. Okay, guys, that's an overview of the SEL Atlas Crossboard, and actually this would apply to the Atlas as well. If you have any questions, please give me a call, 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook at Resells Cars. Keep in mind, if you buy from me, please ask for me when you come in if this video has helped you in any way. If you call in on the phone, please ask for me as well. If you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, you get the four-year 50,000 miles of free, uh, uh, 50, miles bumper to bumper warranty on the car, as well as you get free maintenance for two years, two oil changes free of charge, and if you buy from me, you'll get a third one from Bomberito, our dealership right there. Bomberito St. Peter's will give you a third year of free maintenance, no additional charge. That is a local deal only, so if you're flying in from out of town, um, that third year free maintenance won't be honored by your local dealership wherever home is uh, only by Bomberito St. Peter's also if you buy from Bomberito St. Peter's we're going to give you a 10 year 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge right there we put it on the building we stand behind it 10 years 200,000 miles nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge so if you're interested in this car or any other car or any other features, please give me a call. 636-290-4257. Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.